Hi everybody, I'm Hal Weeks, and this is Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. And when I play Merrily Kiss the Quaker, that must mean I'm experimenting with thumb picks again. And that's what I've been up to here for weeks now. And we are exploring all different kinds of thumb picks. The uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. We're, we're talking about bright ones. We're talking about dull ones. We're talking about loud ones. We're talking about soft ones. We're talking about all the different families and groups and styles and uh, trying to touch a little bit on everything. This week, I'm going to talk about some Fred Kelly picks, all right? Fred Kelly makes um, some really innovative pick designs, including uh, finger picks um, as well as thumb picks. Today, we're focusing on thumb picks. And I have a couple of styles to show you. I don't have representative picks here of all of his styles, but I do want to uh, mention um, some of the other ones that I don't have. And hopefully, um, at some point in the near future, I will have some of those, and I'll make a video about them as well. Um, but today, I'm going to start out talking about Delrin picks. We talked a little bit about Delrin picks last week. Delrin is one of my favorite materials for picks. And this pick, ta-da! This one is uh, uh, one of my favorites. Um, this is a Fred Kelly slick pick, in this case a large. Um, and uh, it has... a really nice, warm, kind of dark tone. Which is really good paired with my bare fingers. Works great with plastic finger picks too. You can hardly hear the pick itself at all, and that's a very important consideration. Um, sometimes you don't want the bright rattliness of a certain pick. Um, you just want it to sound almost like your thumbnail. See, in order to use my thumbnail, I got to turn my finger in like that, and I don't really like playing like that. So I insist on always having a thumb pick at least. All right, but I play melody and I play the bass notes with my thumb pick, and so I want it to do double duty and uh, do both equally well. And this pick really does it all because I can... The information on the Fred Kelly website says that Fred Kelly designed this to perform like a flat pick. And it sure does. Now I'm using the heavy there's also an extra heavy, I believe. And uh, it comes in different sizes, of course. And uh, in general, I tend to favor heavy, extra heavy when I can get them because uh, medium and thin thumb, uh, thumb picks and finger picks just don't sound that pleasing to my ear on the auto harp. They tend to rattle a lot, but this has hardly any pick sound at all. It's just a pure string sound, which I really like about this pick. All right. So that's the Fred Kelly slick pick. All right. Fred Kelly also makes the speed pick, which um, has a little thin plectrum. Uh, they call it the uh, pick that flips you off. Um, and uh, um, I have not tried the extra heavy. Uh, I think that when I first tried those picks, they didn't come in an extra heavy. Now they do. I'd love to try one, but I think I know what I'm going to get because the smaller the pick service that you're picking the string with, the brighter uh, it's going to sound. And uh, I like a, a larger pick surface. Uh, so with that in mind, um, oh, I also want to talk about the, you remember the slick pick. We just talked about that. That comes in Delrin, but it also comes in a material called polycarbonate. And if you wear sunglasses, you're familiar with polycarbonate because that's what they make sunglasses out of. Here is a pick. This is not a Fred Kelly, nor is it a Fred Kelly style. This is one of the Dunlop group. This is the one I called a cool pick a couple of weeks ago. We reviewed this, but it's made out of polycarbonate. And I thought I would show you the difference in tone between a polycarbonate pick and a Delrin pick. Here is the Delrin that I just played. Polycarbonate.
you hear the bright edginess of it? So Fred Kelly makes a polycarbonate slick pick. He also makes um, polycarbonate uh, finger picks of his freedom picks. And we're going to talk about freedom picks in their own video on down the line. Those are finger picks, uh, but you can get those in polycarbonate as well. So this comes in Delrin. It comes in polycarbonate. So it's going to be a bright sound too. All right. The other pick that I wanted to talk to you about here is what is called the bumblebee. Bumblebee is uh, so-called, obviously, because it's yellow and black. All right. And uh, it comes in two plectrum shapes. This one is jazz, and this one is teardrop. And it comes, of course, in different sizes to fit around your thumb, and it comes in different thicknesses. Again, I like heavy and extra heavy, all right? These are both extra heavy varieties, all right? Now, remember that the narrower a pick is at the tip, the brighter it's going to sound. So this jazz pick is going to sound a little bit brighter than the other pick. I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference on video for the audio, but we'll find out. Hardly any difference to my ears. Um, the, the shape, though, does make a difference in the way it plays and performs, okay? So you'll have to be your own judge of that, all right? But um, these picks also move. They get longer and they get shorter. And the idea is that you can adjust that on the fly depending on how you like your pick. Plus, they rotate so you can change the angle that they're addressing the string based on your choice. Now, my findings are that they don't stay. Maybe if you're playing a guitar where there's less resistance, they would stay right where you set them. But in my uh, findings, they tend to um, move around a little bit. So what I do when I decide where I like them which is right in the center, and I like them short, I put a little blob of super glue right there, and it no longer moves, all right? So it's fixed in place, but it's one of these picks that's shaped like a guitar pick, and as you know, I like that because it won't go between the strings and knock on the soundboard, and I can play my... play my back and forth these really well. It sounds a little bit brighter than the slick pick. All right, so I'm going to play the Delrin. This is a Delrin plectrum, a Delrin bumblebee. Delrin slick pick. brighter, a little bit louder, um, but um, man, these two picks are just neck and neck for my favorite. This is the Bumblebee Extra Heavy Teardrop and the Heavy Slick Pick. Um, I'm really going back and forth about it. If I had to choose, I might say the uh, Bumblebee today. Tomorrow, who knows? Anyway, that's my do up on um, on uh, Fred Kelly picks right now. And um, um, stick around, um, keep coming back for more videos on picks. I'm Hal Weeks. We're going to continue to talk about thumb picks. We might go on and talk about some finger picks next because there's a lot of them too. And I uh, hope you're enjoying this series on picks. Um, one of my intentions is to take my favorite from this video, my favorite from the last video, my favorite from the first video, and put them together neck to neck and compare them, even though they're very different styles of picks. And who knows how that will come out. 
Who knows what my favorite is? Well, I do. Do you know? Well, you will if you stick around and keep watching these videos. Um, so subscribe. Hit subscribe and you'll get notified as soon as the next one comes out. And uh, if you are liking and getting something out of Stalking the Wild Auto Harp, I urge you to go over and become a patron of Stalking the Wild Auto Harp on patreon.com. Um, patreon.com slash Hal Weeks. And uh, that link is in the comments section. And if you throw me a few bucks every month, it will keep these videos happening, keep me buying picks, keep me in uh, the equipment and the things that I need to make these videos happen for you. And uh, it's my pleasure to keep doing so as long as we are working together. So uh, thank you for your consideration on that. I teach private lessons through, you can go to my website, howweeks.com. You can learn all about those. I can work with you one-on-one -on, -one on your auto heart picking and uh, get you going on your next step, whatever that might be. And uh, so until next week, I'm Hal Weeks for Stalking the Wild Auto Heart. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Thank you.